Greetings, John here with yet another Xbox 360 title running on Xbox One via the backwards compatibility feature. Just in time for Quantum Break, Microsoft has made Remedy's Alan Wake available on Xbox One, and if you pre-ordered the game, you should already have a code for it. But the results are mixed. As far as good news is concerned, there is a lot to be happy about here. The frame rate is significantly faster on Xbox One, and screen tearing is completely eliminated. As you can see, many sequences on Xbox 360 suffer from noticeable screen tearing, which is of the adaptive variety, meaning that torn frames only pop up when the performance target is missed. Since the Xbox One runs all 360 games with enforced V-Sync, the tearing is completely eliminated here. In many games, however, this actually translates to slower performance, but thankfully, that's not the case here. Alan Wake manages to turn in a very stable 30 frames per second. Even in busy combat scenes, we see remarkably smooth performance. We actually saw similar improvements with the pseudo-sequel, Alan Wake's American Nightmare, and it's great that the original Alan Wake follows suit. The jump in performance suggests that the game was GPU limited on Xbox 360, likely due to the heavy reliance on volumetric lighting and dynamic shadows. Any scene with these effects runs the risk of tearing on Xbox 360, so seeing these issues completely eliminated on Xbox One makes for a better game. But if the performance is improved, what is the issue here then? Unfortunately, Alan Wake suffers from a severe case of Black Crush. It's an issue that seems inherent to the emulator on Xbox One, as other 360 games running through the feature suffer from this as well but few of those games are as dark as Alan Wake. American Nightmare also suffers from this problem, of course, but this first game is rendered nearly unplayable at points due to the inability to see, well, much of anything. It's really, really dark on Xbox One. In comparison, while the game is still quite dark on Xbox 360, shadow detail is restored, enabling a better overall experience. Basically, until this issue on Xbox One is resolved, you're better off playing the game either on a real Xbox 360 or on the PC. Anyways, that's all for now. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is John signing off.